Thessalonians 5, 17 says, pray without ceasing to the church. That was Paul, the apostle, speaking to the church. Church, pray without ceasing. And it's also found in Ephesians 6, 18, where it mentions about the sword of the spirit coming out of our mouths and that we are to pray without ceasing continuously in the, in the spirit, in the Holy Ghost, meaning in tongues. Do, that, does that mean that we're never supposed to pray in English? Yes, we pray in English, but it should be because we're so filled with the Holy Ghost and we're and, and our words are coming up from the from the rivers of living water and we're praying the words that we hear, the words that God wants spoken out. But prayer without ceasing, I had learned that years ago in the 80s after I was filled with the Holy Ghost from uh, Dr. Kenneth E. Hagan. And he was a man of prayer and he prayed in the spirit all the time with uh, you know he just never stopped he kept it under his breath he just continued praying and i always always with my team i always used niagara falls <laughs> as the example i even have a picture of niagara falls up in our headquarters as a reminder this is how god's people are supposed to flow let the let the flow of the holy ghost come forth out of the believers and and it will manifest with power you know one thing about the falls they never it never stops flowing it never stops flowing and as believers we are supposed to let those rivers of living water come out of our belly and flow out of us that's in uh john 7 verses 37 through 39 when jesus prophesied you know he said it said he was prophesying about the holy ghost and after you get baptized with the holy spirit which is what happened in acts 2 as they waited there on you know under the command and the orders of the of the lord jesus christ before he was lifted up into heaven he said, now you go and you wait and you go until you're filled with power and then go forth and be my witnesses. We want to be witnesses with power, with power and authority. And we, God is looking for a remnant in these last days that will absolutely rise up with great authority, authority of the spirit, not natural authority, not soulish authority, fleshy authority, but authority of the Holy Ghost. And this is how we can have authority, by staying filled to overflowing with the Holy Spirit. And I love this. I have that backdrop going on right here. So let that be imprinted in your heart and in your mind. Stay filled, stay filled, and you will walk in victory. You and I will walk in the victory that Jesus died to give us.